What is up guys, DT Ninja here to bring you my latest unboxing from Japan. Yo, I just got this box today. I am so hyped. So this is the Kenshin figure that I ordered over a year ago. Okay, back in January, I first learned of this figure and we're talking about January of 2018. This was a long time ago. And then back in April or May, they finally had the pre-order up and I was day one pre-order of this this figure. So I've been waiting. And then in June, or I think it was May or June, it was supposed to come in, but then there was a delay of it. So I was worried. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So finally, uh, oh and yesterday there was some problem at the processing uh, at, at customs and they said I have to pay this tax on it because this figure is really expensive so there was all this uh, you know thing going on with this <laughs> this figure so I cannot wait to unbox this so I wanted to do the unboxing actually there are two things in here it's not just Kenshin it's not this big but uh, I'm excited so let's get to the unboxing you guys can see from Ami Ami here I kind of already started a little bit, but hopefully. Yeah, that was fairly easy. I have a little uh, summer uh, illustration from Ami Ami. Got some nice paper here. The first thing you see is, yo, Kenshin Himura, yo, holy crap, so apparently, this is the only thing, I thought there was more than one in here, okay, look at this guys, wow, that buck is huge, yo, <laughs> I was thinking it actually was two things because I ordered uh, s some things from JoJo as well and they were miniature figures and I thought they came in the same box but apparently not. This looks awesome. Look at that. Yo. So that's what the figure looks like. And then there's the figure guys. Yo, I can't wait. Alright, let's get to the actual unboxing of the figure itself. I love the packaging of this one. This one's really nice. Alright. I think I missed one. There we go. Get a nice little uh, now I didn't order it from the actual uh, the actual website some people ordered it from the actual website so they might have got some extra bonus material I'm not sure because I heard there's an illustration that comes with it so I pre-ordered it from Ami Ami so I don't know if those bonuses come with it or not, but we'll see. Alright, here we go. Got the uh, nice little stand here. That's pretty cool. Alright. Kitchen. Oh, it comes right out. Look at that. Holy crap. Man, that looks epic. Yo. Yo, oh my gosh, this looks so awesome. This looks awesome. My gosh, look at that. That's so awesome. He's right in his, uh, you know, right, ready to attack, obviously. That is freaking awesome. Look at the hair swing. Yo, the detail in that. That's freaking crazy. Okay. Alright. 
So let us set this bad boy up. Alright, so it looks like this goes here. So there we go, guys. All right, now we gotta put his. We got his sword. We got the Sakabato. That's awesome. Then you got his sheath. All right. So. So the sword goes in this way, and his sheath like this, I believe. Let's see, here we go. Yo ho ho ho. Oh my gosh, this looks freaking awesome. Look at this, guys. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys a closer look at my figure, my new figure, my new Kenshin figure. So I just showed you a little bit earlier, but this is more in-depth, and you guys can see the detail of this thing. Look at this. You know, Kenshin's hair, his eyes, they even got his robe, you know, his, uh, wow, it's just beautiful, beautiful, even his sheath there, you got his, uh, his stance there, you can see he's using, uh, what looks like the Amakakura Riru no Hirameki when he's, uh, attacking, could be the Amakakura Riru no Hirameki, and you can see his Sakabato there, Pretty awesome. And then over here we got Shishio in the flames here. And he's got his Mugenjin. Which, by the way, has the the saw on it. It's pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, now I have that, that scene from the anime. I mean, look at this. Pretty awesome. Uh, and I also have this Kenshin figure here as well. This is Batosai the Manslayer. Uh, but I gotta say, this figure is my best one. Definitely my best Kenshin figure by far. Uh, but yeah, look at the detail of this. I mean, everything is spot on. Really good job, Max Factory. I'm very satisfied with this. I love the stand. You know, you got the flower petals there. Uh, really nice. The only thing I wish they had was like a background to it. You know, because, you know, uh, Shishio's got the fire background, which is pretty awesome. Uh, Kenshin should come with one. You know, like, uh, really cool. Maybe, like, the wind in the background or something like that. But, uh, overall, I'd say this, this figure looks really awesome. Really good stuff. Uh, really happy with this one. Like I said, uh, I got the, uh, nice, uh, scene here from the anime if they are going to come out with another Kenshin one uh, I would love to see a more detailed Shishio like this one is really nice for what it is you know and I love the Mugenjin on Shishio but I'd really like a really sinister one and maybe one where he's like literally on fire and he's getting ready to uh, you know explode uh, their their final uh, their final clash because here he looks like he's doing the Amakakura you know here Meki his final attack so but yeah I I still am very satisfied how this figure looks really good stuff uh, the detail of this is just wow I'm just I'm just blown away by this figure it's it's amazing so yeah guys this has just been a look at my newest Kenshin figure. 
uh, from Japan. Like I said, a long time in waiting, but uh, definitely worth the wait in the end. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, my, my video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and there will be a Kenshin review coming tomorrow, so chapter 15 will be coming out soon. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed.